Hello and welcome back to So April. So today I have the April mix for the month. So I have my little notebook and I will go ahead and pop the pictures up of what I wore and what I made. So um, I don't think I have pictures of the bags I made so I'll just show those when I show them. So the first one I made was the Shambhala Rosalie. And this one, if you remember, I took it to my doctor's and my doctor said that she thought it was a Brahmin bag, but yeah, it's really nice, really pretty, and it's got the blue crocodile that I got from um, my punk embroidery. And then, let's see, for my April styles, for April, I decided to go with Ellie and Mac because it was my birth month, and Ellie and Mac is one of my favorite companies, and I really started sewing a lot when I learned about their patterns for myself. So, um, first thing is the Memphis tee, and that's actually what I'm wearing now, and I'll pop pictures up. And I also made the Good Vibe Joggers. And the T I I made in a 3X and the Joggers I made in a 4X. I probably could have sized them down a little on the legs, but the waist was fine because, you know, belly. Um, and then I also made the Oversized T for the first time. And I used the blue leopard print um, fabric. And I think it turned out really nice. I really like the size and the shape of that shirt, which really surprised me. So I'm like trying to make a whole lot of t-shirts this summer. And I was like, oh, that's actually not bad. And then I also made the fairy jacket. And that one I sized from like 2X here. And then I went down to 3X. So I think that turned out really cute. Um, let's see. And then I also made the, excuse me, the CKC Merrill's Funky Hem Dress, and I really like that dress. I think it's nice. I was worried it was going to look a little bit like a muumuu, but it really doesn't. Um, I made the 3X because that's the biggest size they have, but I probably should have sized up a little, but that's fine, you know. I knew... My measurements were like right on the end there, so I wasn't quite sure how it would fit me. So there's that. And then I also made the Sandy to or yeah, the Sandy tunic from Sinclair Patterns. And as I mentioned last time, next time I make this pattern, I will make it an inch shorter on the waist. I don't remember if I did that, but I need to write that down in here so that's what I need to do on that one and other than that I think it's totally fine and I love it and then the last thing I made was my dream bag the moon wake from lavender and twine and I use this bag so much I kind of regret that I use that cheap um, vinyl from Walmart so I need to make me another one really fast so I don't wear this one out. Um, but I really love the the black hardware on it is from Fireweed Stitches. And if you remember I messed up so I just added the little patches on there. But yeah. I love this bag so much. Let's see. I can show like the this is the inside. I got stitch in there. Thought he was fun. So yeah, that's all my makes for April. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, Y'all have a very blessed day, and I will catch you next time. Bye.